Next question is from Becca Clementson. In 20 years, where do you see yourself and Mind Pump? Oh 20. God. 20 years? 20 is a long time. I mean, I'll be, we'll be 60. I, impossible to find, hopefully. Yeah. You know, yeah that's right. 62. I'll have, I'll, my hair will look like Adam's. That's what I predict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 years is a, is a really long time to try and predict I, where. That is. Yeah, I, mean, I, I predict, let's see, 20 years from now, you're going to see, I think we're going to see. Catch me in the metaverse. Um, yeah. You know what? That's true. That's so true. We'll be fighting it. Right? That's so true from the inside. Yeah, I yeah. tried those Oculus goggles that you have, mm -hmm. and that really was weird because I I literally wore them for five minutes. That's today's tech. So twenty years from now, who knows? Yeah. And I had them on, and I was playing that game a little bit, and I could see how you could get totally enthralled with it. And then when I took them off, that was only after five minutes. The real world felt very strange to me because I had already adjusted to that that world yeah mm -hmm. so i could see how the metaverse world is going to make people not want to be in the real world is fitness going to be all like that i mean i could see that i mean i i, I still yeah. stand by my prediction of that we're going to have a very clear split in our society i think there's going to be a, and it's going to be pretty even i think it's going to be now where do you think we'll be so we're well, mind pumped 20 years from now we're going to be on the unplugged well, let's side. be yeah. honest where do you think like we're always trying to reach people where we see there's potential issues so i think we'll live in both yeah so, so I, I we'll think try to we'll try to sort of evangelize within the uh, metaverse of like how to be able to move or maybe we'll create products or things in there to, to help aid in the physical yeah I, I find that we'll we'll be somewhere in the middle I think that we'll we'll take advantage of the this new growing space and we'll create something some content in there potentially um but I don't see us being like everything's going in there we're gonna be yeah. like that I just don't see that and I don't see most fitness people yeah being like that I think most fitness people are into actually moving in real life and going out there and uh, interacting with other people and, and and doing physical things versus this like you know metaverse. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that we're probably gonna okay. see more medical breakthroughs in the next 20 years that we saw than we saw in the last 200 years. Um, we're on the cusp. I mean, like this new genetic, these genetic te technologies, these mm -hmm. RNA technologies, um, the way that we're using psychedelics and studies for uh, helping people with their Genetic mental bacteria. issues. Yeah, modifying bacteria yeah. to be able to do things for us. I think in the next 20 years, we may actually uh, find ways of solving obesity through Western medicine. Now, that's not going to solve all the problems, but the obesity issue may very well be solved with something that Western medicine comes up with. Oh, that, wow, that's really going on. A well, it is, but I see what the science is, looks like. Well, 20 years from now, you got to see how far we've come just in a few years. It's it's accelerating, right? The whole, was yeah. it Dunbar's equation or I forget what it is, but like oh, Moore's, uh, Moore's law. Moore's, Moore's law. law. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's Dunbar. Dun it's a different equation. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me to describe it because uh, I just remembered the name. But um, yeah, uh, yeah. I just, I just think that everything is accelerating to a point where, like, I every science fiction novel I've read, every movie and TV series, like, it, it's so crazy to me that we're so close on a lot of these different ideas that were thrown out already. Uh, to see twenty years from now, that's a long time. Uh, to see like well, what society yeah, is going to look like. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, we're, we're now we're starting to get into like what we think the world is going to be like versus where do we see ourselves in mind pump. Like, well, how do we per, navigate it? I, well, I feel like the, remember I can, we're going to be sixty. <laughs> so, like, I, yeah. By that, this by, is also a good. Point. By that time, um, I believe that uh, we will have built and set ourselves up financially that technically nobody has to work at all um, or will ever have to work again. And we will do be doing only the things that we absolutely love to do. And I, we love to podcast. I think we all have a passion for that. 20 years from now, I don't know if we still will. But I let's, don't know if I could talk to you guys. Yeah, that. I mean, <laughs> but I, I do think that we will have distilled what Sponsored we, because we all depends. love work. Now, I don't think anybody in this room, okay, including Doug, I don't think uh, ever sees himself fully retiring. So I don't see myself retired just because we have financial, complete financial freedom. What I see us doing is distilling down the things we do in business on this, the things we absolutely love to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what work would will look like. It'll be less about managing people and scaling, and it'll be more about, oh, I just love doing this, and we'll be doing those things. And right mm -hmm. now, those things look like podcasting because we mm -hmm. enjoy that part. 
Um, but I don't know if in 20 years if it'll exactly be I, that. You don't, I don't think uh, Max is going to be sitting in your seat? I was just going to say. going to be sitting in my, yeah, yeah my, alias. My, that would be my dream. I mean, you're right. That's 20 years Who from knows, now. So. Yeah. My dream would be like one of my kids, right? It takes over. and But I mean, that's unlikely that, you know, that would happen. It unlikely. almost never works that way. But that would be pretty cool, you know, to have, you know, the younger generation and kind of teach them. I, I think it'd be cool, too, if we just, uh, I mean, just personally, if we had more cool events or like we had just like a place where, uh, you know, people that listen that have common values and ideas, like they could just, yeah. we could all hang out, have an experience, you know, somewhere cool, like a ranch or something. Oh, I totally believe we're moving in that direction much sooner than 20 years. I mean, I think we, this idea that we have with the kind of the MP homes, right? And moving mm -hmm. them into this like kind of destinations and experiences. And you're talking, so I think that's in the near future and wouldn't be that far fetched to think that one of the investments we do would be this yeah. massive property or cool place that everybody could come and meet once a year or whatever. Like I it's could totally so see hard that. to think twenty years in the future, though, because like I said, I, I, when I look at the the science around longevity, it's weird and fascinating. The science around uh, fat storage, fat loss, uh, how the body, <clears throat> yeah, how we can influence the metabolism and inflammation. It's going to be really weird, and it, we're going to be at a crossroads uh -huh. if we do, in fact, get to the point, which I think we probably will in 20 years, where we literally have exercise in a pill, for lack of a better term. People are going to take it or do whatever, and they're going to look the way they want to look, but they're not going to get all of the other profound benefits of going on the journey of fitness. And it's going to be a very strange situation where, mm -hmm. wow, I look good. I'm not obese. That's good. But, you know, I still kind of feel lost. I don't feel as great. Like, what's going on? Uh, maybe they won't notice because they never were in the first place. But a lot of the benefits you get from a lot, most of the benefits you get is the journey, of the learning mm -hmm. journey and how you develop the relationship with yourself and with your own ego and with exercise and nutrition. Once you take a pill that does all that for you, you've lost that. All you've gained are the physical results, which there's benefit to that. But I think it's going to be put people in a very interesting position, similar to how we. Well, see imagine how much this is going to change if we live to 120 or 130. You know, or our kids. Dude, I mean, that's going to just uh, that's yeah. going to shake up well, so many it's, things. It re, it's similar to what we see with celebrities when they get all this money and fame and power, and then we hear about them committing suicide. We're like, how could this? They had everything. They thought that was the end result. They yeah, because you're in this position and you're like, why am I not happy? Because yeah. it's not about that all the time. It's usually about other things. So. It's going to be interesting. I think we're going to get to a, a position, not just with fitness, but with everything, where we're going to have everything that we want, and then we're going to be like, why isn't this enough? Like, why don't I not feel fulfilled? We'll be preparing people fitness-wise for outer space. Outer space. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, making sure they go to Mars. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.